Yeah, we're starting with that. We're not risking this video getting blocked due to a copyright claim. Okay. Red. Ah, I'll be a knife them. Stretch and yawn right there. Oh. Okay. Uh, this is our very first look at Villainous, and we can see approximately one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tendrils. That is six to her back, one visible, possibly two to her front. Now, you are writing this down. There's going to be on the test later. Now, with the second look at the Villainous, just a few seconds later, only four tendrils to her back. While doing a turn, we can see four long ones to her back. One, so assuming two, small ones to her front. And now she's back to having seven and to her back. And now at least four to her back and two going down her front. I figured you are all getting tired of the freeze framing. Put a little action in. Stand up! I refuse to share a desk with a commoner! You need to learn your place. A little off topic, but why is this not the same in both versions? It doesn't end with this whole hair change-up situation. I'm on episode four, and it continues every single episode. Every few seconds, her tendrils, tendrils move around and around and around. It driving me crazy. I'm just gonna go ahead and. Skip over whatever this thing is. It's so bad, it even affects this poor girl right here. Huh? Is that alright with you, Ray? Of course it is! <sighs> I think two minutes of this is more than enough. I'm sure you get the point. I am not going to do this for every episode. I am not going to catalog every little change in hair. That's it. I'm just going to sit back and enjoy the series. Roll the outro.